parents would get more money under a bill that state Republicans are pushing to respond to COVID-19. It's one part of a billion dollar plan. Tonight, teachers are also raising concerns about making sure state leaders help them get back to school safely. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Highland, is live in Raleigh getting answers about the impact on families. Michael. And we just had some breaking news on this in the last few minutes. The Senate has approved this latest COVID-19 relief bill here by a margin of 44 to 5. And earlier today, teachers and parents were here saying they need some help as the school year starts amid the pandemic. We must have safe schools for students and educators before they return. Teachers and parents holding umbrellas, saying they're weathering the storm of the pandemic, many adapting to virtual learning. It feels very hard. It feels unsustainable for my family. They're urging state lawmakers to do what it takes now to make schools safe when kids come back in person. Our General Assembly needs to do better. Republican leaders in the legislature have put out a plan to spend about a billion dollars in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. That includes 27 million for PPE in public schools and stimulus checks of $335 to each household with a child. Senate leader Phil Berger says the goal is to help families who've had to adapt to virtual learning and homeschooling. I really am not worried about how parents will spend that $335. All I know is they need it. This is a Republican budget that was cooked up behind closed doors, dropped on Democrats yesterday. Democratic Senator Wiley Nichols says the budget should have included higher payments for unemployed workers. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper also called for one-time bonuses for educators. We will absolutely push for, you know, these, these needed bonus payments for teacher pay. You know, if we want to invest in public education, we've got to re recruit and retain quality educators. I wish Governor Cooper had not vetoed the teacher pay raises that, uh, that we passed last year, uh, but he did, and so here we are. The bill is likely to get a final vote tomorrow. Governor Roy Cooper has not said yet if it, he'll sign it if it passes. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.